Hey guys, this is Yasser from Ita Sports and in this video series we are going to help out football or soccer players with their in-season, off-season or pre-season training and how they can benefit from it. Today's leg workout is incredible. If you already haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to it, press the like button and let's get started. So the first exercise that we're going to start off with is the box squad. It's a great variation of squad. In season, I make my athletes do this because there's normal wear and tear in the season. It might irritate their knees or might not have enough ankle mobility, especially if you're working with young athletes. So doing as to grass actually can be a hindrance. So the box squad, the biggest advantage with box squad is the awareness of the body. You're not going to crumble under the weight because you know there is a point of depth you're not going to go below it I started off with 25 on each side and I felt really comfortable doing it it was almost like a warm-up I put on another 25 on each uh, on each side and it worked well the important thing you need to keep in mind is your pelvis being stacked on top of your rib cage don't forget to brace It's really going to challenge that core because the heavier you go the more challenging it gets remember the box cord is important in translation of force on the field because most of the force generated is in a quarter squat position so this is great translation towards that i was feeling pretty strong and i ended up going more than 100 kgs for five reps you need to keep in mind that you do not go more than 70 to 80 percent of your one rep max the more you do that you're going to be sore the next day or might not be able to perform well in training the next day as you can see five sets of five box squats don't go beyond 70 to 80 percent of your one rep max the next exercise is a broad jump to box jump to work on that explosiveness. As we are in, in season, we need to make sure that we do not lose any aspect of explosiveness. That's why it's important to train it. The more frequently you train, the more benefits you can derive out of it. Make sure that the box is challenging enough for you to jump on. As you progress further in your set, you can always increase the height. That broad jump has to be max effort. Also, t keep in mind that you have to take enough time to rest between each set so that you don't drain yourself out again. Important thing is to perform on the pitch and in training the next day. So keep in mind, five sets of three reps, take enough time to rest between each uh, set for max jump effort. The third exercise is one of my favorites, the rear foot elevated split squat. Use a kettlebell or a dumbbell because what, we, what comes afterwards is important. Do 6 reps on each leg. Once you're done, put those weights down and go for at least 6 jumps. Make sure to get that knee as high as possible to drive it for more explosiveness. Take at least 2-3 to three minutes between each leg because you want max effort on that jump again. Training unilaterally is important for athletes because that's where we need to get rid of the imbalances so we did box squats for double and rear for elevated for squat for single three sets of six choose the weight carefully the next exercise is the repeated box jump to make sure we improve that ground contact time that reaction has to be top notch you can always progress by increasing the height of the box make sure the heel is up not going for volume over here again four sets of four this means two on each leg the next exercise, number five, is the kickstand RDL. This is where it gets important because hamstrings take a lot of beating throughout the season. Hypertrophy is what we are looking at to eliminate any chances of injury. I have done a kickstand only because to place a lot more of influence on one leg at a time. If your leg is too far away from each other, you probably might feel it in the lower back. So like I made the adjustment over there, bringing my back leg slightly forward, you can do that too. Remember, keep the weight on the other arm than the leg you are working. Go for volume over here. Hypertrophy is key. Do not go very heavy to tax your uh, hamstrings that they are sore the next day. Focus on that hinge, which is really important. Keep that back nice and flat. Have a slight bend in the knee so you can feel it. You will feel that the connection between the hamstring and the glutes that's where this exercise targets the most the reason i haven't done in a double leg uh, form with a barbell is because to eliminate that imbalances if there are any training unilaterally is important it gives you the best of both worlds with this exercise so remember three sets of 12 working on hypertrophy just to avoid injuries 
The sixth exercise is a Nordic curl. We are going to work on the eccentric strength of the hamstring. Again, this one we are not going for volume as much because we have already taxed out our hamstring in the previous exercise. Use those arms to push yourself back. If you can do a full rep, that's okay. But I would uh, recommend that you work only on the eccentric and not the concentric part of the hamstring. That will come in the next video at the end of the week for your second leg workout. If you can hold the isometric at some point that will always help you because it isometric contraction can increase power generation and output again muscle integrity that's what we need to save throughout the season so you can keep firing on all cylinders without any injuries training holistically and athletically is important you if you have if you don't know how if you don't have this setup you can always use a barbell on a squat stand to uh, anchor your legs in four sets of six six focusing on the eccentric the last exercise is an ab workout this is extremely great for those that core development the ab rollout if you can do it with a barbell you can if you have an ab roll you can do uh, ab wheel you can do it as well remember the eccentric portion the lengthening of the core is important because it places a lot of stress on your core whether you're a soccer athlete a football athlete a wrestler that ground getting parallel to the floor is important we are not going to tax ourselves out four sets of six ab rollout if you have a wheel or with the barbell that was today's leg workout. If you're an athlete, you need to train holistically and robust. Every aspect of athleticism has to be in incorporated into the program so that you can get the most bang for your buck. We are trying to bring you workout series so that you don't have to invest your money anywhere else. All you need to invest is your time and your effort into the gym to get the benefit. I train athletes like this depending on what their goals are, whether they're in season, pre season, off season. This workout is in season. I'm going to go now, the summer is coming up. I'm going to go into off season. I'm going to get you brand new content so you can benefit. If you find this video helpful, press the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Press the bell icon so you never miss another episode from us or a video from us. And as always, I'll see you next time.